They help build low-income homes, but the governor calls the tax credits a failure and a waste of your money. Only on 41 Action News, Ariel Rothfield dug deeper into the debate. Behind me is an apartment for low-income seniors built using a low-income tax credit. And while this project was successful, a state audit found the program to be inefficient, saying not enough money is going in towards building developments like this one. I used to come by here, you know, when they were just building, it was just a frame. Retired, now on a fixed income. I'm a homebody. Gregory Hill calls this one-story cottage apartment home, part of a housing initiative in Kansas City's Ivanhoe neighborhood, designed specifically for low-income seniors. There's no way I could have got an apartment like this for the amount I'm paying now. And built using low-income housing tax credits, which Missouri's Governor Eric Greitens and a state commission voted against Friday. The governor calling the program inefficient, writing in a statement, quote, we zeroed out this failing program and saved tens of millions of dollars. No more giveaways. The program is one of the state's largest tax credits awarded to developers to encourage building low-income housing. An incentive Margaret May. This is where the housing we believes is vital to redevelop the urban core. There's a real need for housing and particularly for lower income people. In the Ivanhoe neighborhood, the average income is $20,000, which is why the neighborhood council built these apartments, and they plan to build even more on this empty lot, but without the tax credit. Now we are, we're going to have to try to see if we can find a private investor, and uh, good luck. May doesn't think it'll happen, leaving others without an opportunity that Gregory Hill has. It really helps me out a lot, you know, it with the rent being cheap like this and you know as so I, I really uh, lucked out really. A final vote still needs to be taken, so no decision is official just yet. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.